Hi everybody and welcome to the Plant Stocks channel. My name is Jesse if we haven't met yet. And today I thought we would have a little golden nugget moment. It's Saturday, I want us to relax, just focus on some other things. But then again, there are some things happening in the space, in the plant-based space that could be interesting for some of you. And that is that a lot more famous people, celebrities are actually getting into the plant-based space movement, right? And even people who aren't vegan yet, like some famous chefs like Jamie Oliver or our old favorite Gordon Ramsay, these are people who are actually talking more and more about the benefits of a plant-based diet and that they can actually see how big this movement is getting and that there's going to be a lot of money there. Now, although this is not directly related to any of the plant-based companies or stocks that we normally talk about, actually some of them are, there are some of their products in this video actually, but I do think it's still important because if you are interested in this space, it is good to know that this space is thriving, right? It's doing really well and it's going to be just that much bigger with time. And looking at these kind of videos, getting these kinds of information will give you an inclination to where we're headed, right? That means that there might be a good chance that if you actually invested your money in a company riding this plant-based wave, then there's a good chance, especially if it's a good company with a good management team, right? And if they have a good balance sheet, hopefully, or that they're actually expanding like crazy then that's a good indication that you could be getting a lot of gains in the future now this video was borrowed from the plant-based news site take a look at that site also it's a really good site for all things plant-based all right folks i truly hope you'll enjoy this video let me know down in the comments what you think about this as you're probably aware veganism is breaking growth and sales records all around the world even gordon ramsay a well-known cynic of all things vegan has acknowledged that this is an area on the rise and chefs need to adapt here's the thing with three girls uh, moving trends i mean veganism is on the rise so we gotta adapt yeah and uh yeah we just have to uh yeah eat a slice of humble pie in this video we're gonna hear from other leading chefs and influencers about the rise in plant-based food. But before we do that, I wanna say a huge thank you to The Very Good Food Company for supporting this video. The Very Good Food Company produce plant-based meat alternatives made from whole food ingredients, as well as a range of artisan vegan cheeses. The company has come a long way since appearing on Dragon's Den back in 2018 and became the second plant-based company to successfully launch onto the stock market when it began trading last year. If the company's mission, which is to get millions to rethink their food choices, resonates with you, head over to their website, verygoodfood.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, when I first saw this video yesterday, I was quite surprised when I saw that the Very Good Food Company was using some promotional tool here with plant-based news. Made me very happy. As many of you know, this is a company that I have been following for quite some time and I do deliver a lot of news there. And I didn't see this happening. And I actually think it's a good sign. We know that they're focusing a lot more now in, on promoting the brand, promoting the company. But like this, that was a surprise. Uh, considering how big this site is, I just had to mention this here. I mean, first, Plant-Based News, their own YouTube is around 525,000 people. But then when we go into their Instagram page, it's 1.1 million. So really good news. And since we're talking about Instagram, folks, if you haven't seen my page yet, if you haven't come and join me, uh, please feel free here to Plant Stock Jesse. We're 197 people and growing. So if you want everything all plant-based when it comes to Tattoo Chef, Beyond Meat, Very Good Food Company, Oatly, to name a few, feel free to join us when we try to strive for the same goal, which is reaching financial freedom by investing in sustainable companies, companies that make us feel good, makes us feel that we can actually sleep at night while gaining those gains. Okay, first up, Wolfgang Puck. If you haven't heard of him, he is a huge chef. Puck has worked in some of France's top restaurants before putting Californian cuisine on the map upon his move to the US. More recently, the star chef has ventured into the vegan culinary area, and last year he created an all-vegan menu for the Oscars. 
He even featured on The Ellen Show to an audience of over a million. How long did it take okay. you to make that big oh, one? Okay. We start to make the Oscars three weeks ago. We make 3,500 of the small ones and Whoa. they're all stuffed with strawberry marmalade. So you actually can wow. take them. Uh, wow. Okay. Oh my God. That's, that's all chocolate with strawberry marmalade. Huh? Wow, that's exactly. amazing. So, and then what else do you have here? Down here we have a pavlova, but we made it vegan. So uh -huh. you say, how are you going to make an egg whites uh -huh. vegan? But we use chickpeas, reduce the juice of them, and then whip it. It cooks like uh, egg whites. It I cooks know. like a meringue. So I it's know. really amazing. It and all the cookies are all vegan, so That's really fantastic. Good. So yeah. you're going to have vegan options at the Oscars. That's great. A lot of them. And That's you know, right. we have yeah. them in all our right. restaurants, too. Oh, good. That's fantastic. Next up, one of my favorite high-profile chef moments in terms of plant-based, with Jamie Oliver talking to Tim Shee. But yeah, no, the veggie vegan diets are looking pretty sweet. Um, seamless transition. Well, just from a disease point of view, I think our skis are <laughs> interlinked. Jamie's taken an interest in plant-based food in recent years, but has yet to make the switch to a plant-based diet himself. However, one person with a huge following who has made the switch to a plant-based diet is Kim Kardashian. The reality star and businesswoman regularly encourages her fans to embrace plant-based eating. Check out this recent clip. Like what made you decide to, you know, make that lifestyle change to going plant-based? I think I watched a documentary on it. I did it not religiously, only when I was at home. And I just met chefs that love to cook plant-based and were teaching me so much about like sea moss and all of this like amazing food that had these really good health benefits. She even follows plant-based news on Instagram and said to us directly, she is getting into plant-based. Next up on the list is Matthew Kenny, a celebrity chef of a large portfolio of restaurants specializing in plant-based cuisine. He went vegan many years ago since becoming interested in health and wellness and loves to show off his wide range of plant-based dishes. Tell us about this table. So we have a few dishes from our various restaurants. That's a yuzu guacamole mm. um, from our new restaurant Plant House in Miami Beach. Uh, roasted cauliflower with green harissa and pomegranate. We have a few pizzas from Double Zero from our wood oven. Yum. Um, a classic margarita with cashew mozzarella. That's a farro sausage. And this is a sunflower um, basil pesto. Gorgeous. These are tree nut cheeses, so fermented cashew uh, with probiotic and uh, a lot of different condiments. This is a, um, a plant-based apple pie that we created for our Thanksgiving dinner in Los Angeles at Plant Food and Wine out there. So it's an array of our different... And, and we have vegan cocktails, which are just yes. regular cocktails, Te te tequila, too. <laughs> tequila is plant-based, for sure. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, one of my favorite vegan influencers is Tabitha Brown. If you're not familiar with her, she used to be an Uber driver, but then became a plant-based influencer and ended up cooking vegan food with Ellen DeGeneres a few years ago. So I got sick. Oh. And then three years ago, I got on the vegan train. Oh. And it saved my whole life. Yeah. You see these meatballs right here? Uh-huh. Yes, go ahead. This is it? Go on and try one. Mm. It's sweet and savory. Let's go. It's got a little salt, a little heat on it. She's even been on the PBM podcast, but anyway, I feel like the plant-based culinary scene is really taking off, and I want to know who are your favorite chefs that are adopting the plant-based paradigm. Thank you so much for watching.